And welcome back. And we have added, we have transitioned the set a little bit. We have Kathy Akers with us this morning. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, ladies. How hey, are Kathy. you? Fine. Good, Good to see, see you. you. And Kathy is with Fathom Realty. Um, and we're going to talk about her. Real, this is her real estate segment, and we're going to see what she's got on tap this morning. What are we talking about this morning? Well, this morning um, we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're going to talk about aging in place. So um, I know there's quite a few of your listeners that are in that older um, age range. I'm not saying that everybody is, but I do know we have some that <laughs> well, are all getting older. That's right. Bit. We are all getting older, and, and especially the three of us, we kind of hit in this age range that we're, we need to start looking at what are we going to do um, as we get older. Right mm -hmm. now, we're all still very active, mm -hmm. still very mobile, mm -hmm. but what happens as we um, start to age? And we need to start looking and putting together a plan as to how, what we're going to do, whether it's moving and that kind of thing. Um, this is from a 2018 um, AARP study that about three-fourths of their uh, participants, all at least 50, had said they wanted to stay in their current home as long as possible. Mm -hmm. And then at least 46% expected to never budge. Okay, mm. so think about that. All right, if that's your plan, is your home ready for you to do that? Mm -hmm. um, and the time to do a plan is now. Um, you don't want to wait until you get older and then realize that you can't do this. So, or have an accident or something, and you could have prevented it by doing something that's right. Proactively. And that's part of it. So. Um, the, the first thing to think about in your plan is your retirement income. Is it going to be able to cover your home's insurance, property tax, maintenance, those kinds of things? What about those um, unexpected expenses that come up? So, you know, um, roof, roofs and heating and air conditioning systems and those kinds of things are all expensive nowadays. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that they're not going to break the bank or clear out your retirement fund. And they're going know. to come whether you like it or not. That's right. So think about that. Um, assess it um, because, you know, now because you don't want to create any heartaches or any burdens down the line. Um, right. You know, let's say you're five, ten years into retirement, you can't keep up with the cost. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot harder on your 80, 70, 80 year old self to move and make different mm -hmm. plans than it is now on your 50 or 60 year old self. Right. So, and then to also make sure that it's financially warrants that as well. So look at that and start building your plan is if that's what you want to do, you know, start looking at those numbers. Um, the other thing is that starting with the 2018 federal tax return, the maximum deduction for state and local tax is capped at $10,000 per household. That includes your property tax. So if you'd been deducting more in um, house taxes, mm -hmm. that was capped and you're not going to get that. So, you know, look at your your 2018 return and think about how much additional tax were you paying in property tax that you couldn't you know mm -hmm. deduct that's going to carry on and you're going to have to continue to pay you know pay that out of right. pocket and so you know think about how that's going to affect um, affect your um, your retirement fund. And history would dictate that taxes and insurance are not going down. Yeah, that's right that's right um, and you know, um, so you want to make sure that, you know, you're looking at all of those aspects and how much of that's going to eat up your retirement. Um, are you car dependent? So are you in a neighborhood where you need, you know, it's not possible for you to get around mm -hmm. but with a car? Um, so, you know, that's great now, but when you're in, eight, you know, your 80s and 90s and you don't want to drive or can't drive, how are you going to get around? You know, is there a busing system? Those kinds of things. Um, you know, 
some of the longevity calculators say that a lot of us are living into our 90s now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those are some things to think about. Um, a lot We're seeing um, a lot of our baby boomers and that kind of thing moving into cities or into um, a more metropolitan place where they can um, have public transportation mm -hmm. um, and then of course Uber and Lyft and those kinds of things but it also allows you to socialize more easily mm -hmm. with your friends meet for lunch those kinds of things that you wouldn't normally get to do mm -hmm. if you couldn't drive your car to, to right. get there so you know how socially active are you how dependent would you become on your family and um, neighbors and that kind of thing if you had to stay where you were at. So, right. you know, those are things we don't think about. You know, I was recently visiting a son in Berkeley, and they have all of their groceries delivered mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. And with, wow. I mean, I, it used to be because they've got two little bitty kids, mm -hmm. and they both work, right. he and his wife do. And I said, wow, this is just such a wonderful way, and that would be something that could help people down the road, or busy, you know, professionals. That's right. You know, um, a lot of the big chains are doing delivery service. Um, I know that I, um, a lot of them have the pull into the parking lot and they bring it out to your mm -hmm. car, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, Amazon and some of the others, they actually deliver to your mm -hmm. door. So, I mean, you know, it, the big one that you see on TV all the time is Chewy for your pets. You know, so, the, <laughs> I mean, you think about yeah. it, you know, that commercial's on all the mm -hmm. time. It so, is. you know, Think about what advantage does that have for you? You know, is that something that you mm -hmm. can work into your um, to your living? You know, and now we're seeing. You know, um, they mainly target at younger people that are, um, you know, too busy to cook. But you know, those home food delivery mm -hmm. systems. You know, where your meals are already prepared. That's another one of those. They're things. ever pop. They're becoming mm -hmm. ever popular. That's believe right. Me. They they are, and so you know, there's more and more of them mm -hmm. out there. So you know, is that something that may work into mm -hmm. the scheme of things for you as you're getting older? Um, this is all good food for thought. It, <laughs> it really is. is. You know, um, so there was another study. Um, the is your home age in place friendly? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and the odds of that is no. Um, the Harvard's Joint Center for Housing did a study that they estimated by 2035. That's not that far away. Mm -hmm. You know, there will be 17 million older households where the current layout of their home will become a problem. Mm. Stairs can no longer wow. be easily mm -hmm. navigated. Narrow doorways and bathrooms that you can't get a walker or a wheelchair into. Mm -hmm. And they said at least 4% of the U.S. housing is age in place ready with features like zero step entries into the home, single floor um, living, and the wider doorways and mm -hmm. hallways. I know years ago when my um, my in-laws built um, their house about the time Tom and I started college, they did that. Mm -hmm. It was single floor. They had the wider hallways and the um, larger entries to the bathrooms and that kind of thing. It was just something they planned on. Mm -hmm. And um, unfortunately, they had to use it because my father-in-law had had um, a, a car wreck um, and mm -hmm was bed bound mm -hmm. for quite a while and then on wheelchair and that kind of thing. So, you know, those are the things they, you know, weren't necessarily thinking about that. They were mm -hmm. thinking as they mm -hmm. got older. But, you know, those things do happen. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's one of the other things we think about is, you know, if you've what happens if we do have an accident, mm -hmm. um, you know, have to have a knee replacement, something like that, and your house does not have that bedroom or bathroom on the first floor, Right. what's going to happen, you know, you're going to end up having to go to a rehab because you don't have the facilities to get home quicker. Mm -hmm. So those are some things to think about as well. You know, it's not just the long term, but it could possibly be short term as well. Um, some of the, pro you know, if you do plan on staying in place as mm -hmm. you age, um, some of the things that we can talk about are some small projects, you know, um, rehabbing a bathroom, you know, um, 
like grab bars, mm -hmm. um, those kinds of things that make it easier, um, you know, but to also look at reconfiguring a bathroom, um, installing a shower with um, the zero entry, those mm -hmm. kinds of things. You know, those are some of the things you, you really need to stop and, right. and start thinking about. And those rehab things I've seen on TV that they, they put in a bathtub mm -hmm. that have all the grab bars and all Absolutely. those things that people can, in one day, they can remodel their bathroom. That's right. And, you know, <coughs> we look me. at, um, you know, at one point, the baby boom, boomer segment, which, you know, we all fit in, is, is the largest population segment mm -hmm. and we're all starting to hit into those age ranges right so you know those are all things that we need to think about but it's not just your bathrooms that you need to think about um, they also mentioned the kitchen you know um, having you know if you're going to put you know do any renovations adding um, additional lighting Mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. You know, um, as we get older, our eyesight gets a little dimmer. You know, mm -hmm. we're going to, um, you know, it'll help you, you know, to be able to see things more clearly, that kind of thing. Um, they talk about low counter spaces. You know, um, most of us don't think about having some place that we could sit down to do prep work. You know, they, and they said, you know, the grand, grandkids mm -hmm. would love that right now. You know, they have a place to sit mm -hmm. and, you know, that, you know, pull up a chair at the um, at a counter to, to help out or whatever. When they're making their meatloaf. That's right. Sit down to do it. <laughs> you know, so sit down and do it. That's right. But, you know, look throughout your house. You know, um, I know that we all have probably steps going in and out, whether it's from the garage into the house, mm -hmm. in and out the front or back door. Those are things to think about. Um, you know, if they're going to have, you know, a lot of people, you know, and I've sold houses where they've had ramps put mm -hmm. in. There are movable ramps so that they're easily put up and taken down. But, you know, is it something that your house would be able to accommodate a mm -hmm. ramp? You know, um, and just, you know, kind of looking at, you know, maintenance. Have you been somebody that's always gone out and done your yard maintenance? Is it something that you're going to want to continue to tackle? Again, if you're going to hire somebody to come in, mm -hmm. how's that going to eat into your retirement mm -hmm. funds? So um, all of these things add up and continue to add into the cost of how we're going to maintain our, our retirement account. And, uh, Do you ever talk about reverse mortgages? I hear them advertised on TV and I really don't know anything about um, them. I, I know the general idea of a reverse mm -hmm. mortgage, um, I, but I'm not the one that... You, you could know, steer somebody, somebody if they th called you That's right. Um, there's quite a few um, loan officers out mm -hmm. here that have the knowledge that to talk about those mm -hmm. things. Um, they kind of scare me. They do me, and I've had one client that looked into it, mm -hmm. and um, it, you need to have at least 50% or more equity in your home mm -hmm. before they'll even consider it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was part of their problem is they hadn't quite met that 50% equity. But, you know, um, I'm sure there are good and bad to, you know, as with anything, but talk to someone that actually knows. Mm -hmm. If you need a, the name of a loan officer, I'll be glad to, mm -hmm. to help someone out that would like to talk to somebody about a reverse mortgage. Um, but make sure you do your due diligence and make sure that it's appropriate for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. You know? Bring in other people. I mean, get multiple opinions. opinions. That's um, right. Somebody was talking about that their parent doesn't make as good of decisions as he or she used to. And That's so right. children really need to intervene mm -hmm. and, and go as, a, as an advocate. With that them. is so important. And so you important. You know, we talk about, especially when those medical situations come up, is that you you don't absorb everything they're telling mm -hmm. you by having someone else sitting there with you you know they're picking up things on that you may miss and that's the same way when you're talking with anybody about um, your financial aspects mm -hmm. you know take um, someone you trust with you that's going to be able to help you know guide mm -hmm. you through if if it's one of your your children 
a sibling maybe, mm -hmm. you know, someone that you think can help you um, go through some of this information. But, you know, now's that time to really start thinking about what right. you're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I unfortunately, I'm good, I have one mm -hmm. of those homes that is not going to allow us to age in place because I do not have a bedroom or a full bath downstairs. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's going to be one of those things. It's not a matter of if we do it, it'll be when we do mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and you know, having right. gone through a catastrophic fire, yeah, I'm very sensitive to being having a bedroom on the ground floor, yes. if at all possible. And we were able to get out. We right. were on the ground floor, but you know, 20 years from now, we would not be able to be coming down steps and that type of that's thing. Right. So that's really. Are there any housing developments being built now in this area that are more friendly to seniors? There are. There um, are several um, options out there. Some of our buildings are building those um, not necessarily zero entry but like a one step up that mm -hmm. kind of thing um, a lot there's a lot of patio homes out there um, Autumn Ridge is uh, is one of those places mm -hmm. that now they do have some two stories but they do have one stories that they're building out there um, I think the the Belmont Villas that they also have some one-story mm -hmm. entry plans, and some of the other builders do too. So, you know, it, it's a matter of just looking. Mm -hmm. There are things out there, and there's some good resales out there mm -hmm. that, you know, um, are on a, you know, as we call it, a slab build or a patio home. So they have that, that feature of being, you know, no steps and that kind of thing and everything on one level. So um, there are some options out there and I think we're going to start seeing some more come in the, um, you know, here in the near future. Um, you know, a lot of people are starting to think about, mm -hmm. you know, um, the older, not the older public, mm -hmm. but, you know, our, how are we going to move forward as we as we age. And, and regionally, our population tends to slant on the older side. It does. We're yeah. in a temporarily in an apartment while we're rebuilding, mm -hmm. um, but we're across from Bimini Elementary. Um, lots of seniors. In fact, we're the youngest people in our neighborhood. Right. <laughs> and right. we just love and that, our neighbors. But and that fun. is. It's know, very safe. There are lots of widows who live mm -hmm. there. It's all on our, what we're in is all on one floor. I can't say enough nice things about, and I think you have a sign out front for the property. There's um, um, what, yeah, our agent has one out on the corner property. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to build some more of those. <laughs> they're, they're great. I mean, the That's people right. who live there love them. That is. And, um, yes, that neighborhood is very nice. It's very close to the hospital, to the doctor's mm -hmm. offices. If you had to walk to... Um, the you know they have that the Bojangles well, Bo oh, Bojangles, Bojangles is right there mm -hmm. and I understand LTAP just opened mm -hmm. up they did the, this weekend this past weekend you got oh, um, wow. you know so you have some nice uh -huh. features right there and you're close to a lot of different things they look out for each other I mm -hmm. think that the camaraderie That's and socialization good. as you mentioned we don't have these mixed use places like a right. metropolitan area but we do have apartment areas that, that really cluster more seniors. Mm -hmm. They go to movies together. They just oh, yeah. have a great social life. You know, um, wow. there's the um, over across from Harris Teeter, the Loblolly, right. mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. That That's another one of those um, that meets that 55 mm -hmm. and older. And there's a couple of other communities that um, are were built for 55 mm -hmm. and older. Um, and you know, um, over there off of Benveni Road, um, there's that new apartment complex that uh, has elevators in them. Oh, good. Because oh, of, wow. you I know, know um, um, I haven't been in it, but, you know, they, um, they do tout it for mm -hmm. the, you know, and, um, the 55 and older. So, you know, that um, it makes wow. sense of having, having those conveniences in there. So, you know, it, do your research, mm -hmm. make your plan. Well, call people like you. I mean, yeah, you've, you've done the right. research, yeah. and I think that's just really neat because you can speak from a very professional perspective mm -hmm. about what you've seen, what works for people. Absolutely. Um, you've got senior parents <laughs> yourself and, yeah. and whatnot, so I just think to, to tap into... They can't be professional people, but no, you are, and no. you're available. Well, thank you for that, Jean. Um, but yes, it, any questions you have, we'll be glad to sit down and talk with you. And you can always reach out to me at 252-266-4038. Write her number down. <laughs> and and uh, one of the big takeaways I get this morning from what Kathy said was, 
folks, take the initiative to help your parents. Whether it's, now I had a friend um, who lives in Florida, doesn't get up to Rocky Mount very often to see his parents. You know, he does the best he can two or three times a year. But he sees the writing on the wall. They're 80 and he sees as he comes a little bit. So he went and bought, he said, Mom, I'm gonna go buy a wheelchair ramp because I'm not, you know, and, and his mom's going, what, what, why, why, why do we need, you know? He said, I'm just doing this just for you while I'm here to prepare because he sees right on the wall. Mm -hmm. He went and put a wheelchair ramp up and they were just hysterical. You know, the <laughs> mom was just hysterical, why are you doing this? But do things like this for your parents. I mean, help right. them with their, all of their, their insurance and their Medicare and, and all of these things. Mm -hmm. Help them because people can take advantage of them so, you know, they, people call all the time and, and they did my mom that way. They called my mom and wanted to meet with her about some insurance and I said, no, no. And she called me, mm -hmm. which is good. She called me. Um, but. Um, please take the initiative because your parents might not always call you. They might just say, okay, yes, come on. Mm -hmm. And it's no telling what, you know, what happened. But anyway, um, th these are good tips and please look after your parents. I, I really, you know, encourage that. So. And, and like I said, you know, ladies, we're at that age that we need to start making those preparations mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, mention it to your friends, you know, that the, if, they, what are their plans as they get older? Mm -hmm. you know? and, and there are some things like houses can be retrofitted. That's right. Um, it's a matter of whether an expert such as you would say it's worth it right. or you're better off flipping to something smaller or something that you don't have to right. sink that type of money into because you'll never get it out. Right, right. And those are all those decisions that you need to make up front. Mm -hmm. so. And yeah, churches do help put up ramps, don't mm -hmm. they? I've mm -hmm. heard of some local. Mm -hmm. They do. They do. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, lots of resources. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. All right. Well, Kathy, thank you for coming in this morning and enlightening us, enlightening us again. Um, you can be reached at 252-266-4038. Kathy Akers with Fathom Realty. We'll be right back. Thank you, Kathy. You're welcome.